last man standing at the bar. Man, I gotta be, I gotta be honest with you. I would normally say me just because of what I, I, I felt about myself, but going as a kid, looking back, I don't care what happened at WWE, Steve, Dr. Death Williams in his prime, Steve, Dr. Death Williams in, in his prime, you know, not, not before the, you know, he was so burnt out when he fought, you know, in the tough man thing, when JBL, you know, knocked him out. That was, he was, he was too punch drunk by that time. Um, Hacksaw Jim Dugan was disgustingly I, tough. I, uh, you're the only second person who uh, has taken it the wrong way that I meant it to. I meant uh, drinking. Oh, I'm drinking. <laughs> it's only you uh, and Ken Shamrock. You and Ken Shamrock are the only two who have thought of it like in fighting. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because I was ready to fight you over that bullshit. Um, I will say the man that was most known for drinking the most and buying the whole bar's drinks was Ric Flair. Yeah. Um, uh, Barbarian. Uh, Bar- Barbarian was a beast. Um, drink wise, there's Barbie. When, when I first broke in, right, I was staying at this this crappy hotel in Atlanta by the airport. But this is like, no matter where the guy stayed, no matter where Flair stayed or whatever, there was a manager at this Holiday Inn, and she would get all the guys free drinks. And so all the guys would come to that hotel to drink, and then it would be packed with fans, packed with fans, because she loved it because she was making so much money off the fans. But then they would all go stay at other hotels because they didn't like that hotel that much, right? <laughs> so, so when I was training, that's the hotel that I stayed at when I was training that three weeks. Well, uh, the, the, the girl comes up to me. She goes, hey, listen, Eric, you know, tonight some of the guys are going to come in. She goes, but be careful of, of barbarian." I go, why? He goes, well, he, he likes young, good-looking kids. I go, what? He goes, she goes you're good-looking and, and you're young. And I go, what do, you, what, what do you mean? He likes, because just, just stay away from him at closing time. I go, no, so now I'm freaked out. D- Delane was her name. So we're drinking and we're drinking and people are leaving and, and it's kind of getting to where I, me and him and kind of the last few people at the bar and I'll be a son of a gun if he goes, hey, brother, uh, you, you young, strong boy. Yeah, uh, football. You know, college football. Yeah, yeah, real tough man. Huh? I heard you're tough man. You know, and I say, yeah, yeah, I guess. And he was known as being a killer, right? Like, like he there. There were stories of him beating up like 15 police officers at that place. I mean, like this guy. He goes, he goes, brother. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I get back. Maybe you and me. I take you to my room. And I go, what the fudge? So Delaney looks. She goes, I told you. So he goes to the bathroom. I went. And I said, give me keys to another hotel. I got a different hotel room. I said, she goes, I'll protect you. I'll protect you. She goes, I won't let him know what room you're in. That whole night, because because that, it was one of those hotels where the rooms are either outside towards the parking lot or they their doors open up to the pool. And I'm like, this big bastard is going to find out where I'm at, right? And and so I did not sleep well that night. I had stuff against my door. I didn't sleep. And so um, – it wasn't until like, you know, six months, a year later that that was Delaney and his rib that they, he would play on new rookie talent. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh, hell <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs>